Okay, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you how to make a radar. Uh, and I sound like a robot there for a second. But anyway, who cares? <laughs> um, yeah, so the first thing you're going to need is, well, I would recommend you using um, a, a plate 2x2 two two and the builders of general, which is located in the spawn list underneath all the other crap so yeah um i mean i you can ha edit it this is just how i have it this is for cars so um i'm just going to show you how to build this part right here it with along with the platform so the you're gonna have to have the platform then um Someone just messaged me on Steam, but I don't really care. Um, you're going to need one. No, where is it? Okay, I'm an idiot. Anyway, <laughs> um, you you want to try to get the like exact center. I mean, if you don't get the exact center, it's let's just say it's gonna mess up. Get your axis tool, which is underneath tools, constraints, and axes. And, um, you try to get as close to the center as you can. And then you want to come over here. Then you want to try to get the exact center for this one, too. It's about right here. There you go. Now, see, now this will fully spin. See, now, now the next part. You want to make sure this is actually frozen and everything. So now we can go back here. Go find a. I would recommend you using something very very light because the more weight you have, the more the more likely this thing will not spin. I mean, it can't take too much weight or it's gonna not work. So um. What I would recommend you using is this, um, but you can use whatever, but just make sure it's, it will actually, won't have a freak attack and break. And the bad thing about this material I'm using is because I can't see it. Alright, there you go. See? See, now that's working. Um... Now you go to your wire. Um, when you go to your wire, um, look for something. Scroll through your list. Go to um, Ranger. No, yes. Then you you pop it straight down the middle. All right. Then um, you get your gyroscope. And I don't see why people say you need to put in a 90 degree angle. But I don't. I just don't care about it. If there's any logic and reason for that, then be my guest and tell me. So, yeah. Um, gravity. You want to disable gravity for this thing because of all the... Yeah, see, you can see it's, it's working better. But when I... Watch. Why enable gravity? Oh. You see how it doesn't keep spinning. And I'm just going to go ahead and weld this. See if that stops it from having a freak show. Oh crap. Yeah. So, now you want to grab a thruster. Do not set it to 50 million miles an hour. But, um, I would recommend you putting a something very, very small. Oh. Small. I just do like that at 10 and then whatever you set it to oh oh my there you go um I guess you just have to give it a little push so I recommend setting it to 10 and then give it just a tiny little push and have it running well kind of slow it down just a tiny bit there you go see it was, it was start doing like spinning but you don't want to go in too fast because if you go too fast it'll go like this and then <laughs> as you can see 
the ranger thing is all over the place, so you just want to give it a little tap and have it doing that. All right, now let's go down here. Uh, now go back to your wire. Even if you love that. Anyway, uh, you find some. You go to your visual screens. Then you go to all. Uh, I can't even say it. All, all the scope, or whatever it's called. I don't even know. And pick out something. I don't care. I'm gonna pick out something small since just for a little demonstration. See, it should look like this when you click on it. Now, here comes the complicated part. Stay with me, guys. All right. Um. We. Um. All right. You need to find something called. Uh. It's called a uh, constant value. If you got the latest version of um. Uh, Gary's mod, then it should be an input, and it should be at the very bottom where it says constant value, and it had that little symbol. You can click any one of these, but uh, I said, I mean, look at that. I would not click that. I would have like something that's. I would have something like big enough so you can notice it. All right. Um, it doesn't matter how high you. Well, normally you would set up to, um, five, one thousand five hundred to reach an entire map. Um. Yeah. So, when you get that, when you put down the constant value, I'll. I'll keep talking about well you guys try to find that because this wire mod is kind of complicated to use. I even had to look this up to to um <laughs> work it. Well, well not now, but anyway. So yeah, then once you got that place, uh, click gates, which is at the very top. Let me get all this crap out of the way. When you go to gates, um, go into the search bar and type in sin. Oh, sin. Assign in. And make sure you um, click the DEG, not RAD. I, I don't even know the difference between them. I don't even know what um, it stands for, but anyway, who cares? You're going to need one of that. Well, I actually said it over here. And then one cause. Cause, cause, whatever. And make sure it's DEG, not RAD. Because of goof. You don't want to goof. Then, once you're done with that, you need, alright, get divide, arithmetic. Then once you get arithmetic, um, divide, um, you place two, like that. Then you do the same thing with multiply. Well, if I can spell. Um, mul multiply, what? Ugh, I can't type today. Oh, I can't type today. <laughs> um, you grab multi multiply, um, arithmetic. Make sure you don't get the other one, and and you place it right there and there like that. All right. Well, let's lower that just a tiny bit. So it has some air. Yay. And then now, since you got that finished. Let's go ahead and get to the wiring part. Alright, here comes the most painful part. <laughs> that took me literally two hours to do. <laughs> um, now, you grab your, your Y. I mean, whatever way you want it to go, this, if you set, take the Y and put it here, I believe it will go this direction. And if you put the Y on this one, I believe it will go this direction. Well, we'll find out here in a minute. Alright, so, we want to put X. Well, it doesn't matter. Put one of the X's on the multiply, and then put the Y on the other one that you didn't put the X on. Like that, alright? Now, you take your A for multiply, and then you put, them up, put it up to sin, and you put the other multiply a to to cause now you take your you take the b of your multiply well the one this side yeah anyway uh we put b and then you put on the second 
one right here on this divide then you take this multiply and put it on the divide above it now uh, now you take the B with the divide and divide B and put it up to cause no whoops wrong thing divide put the, this divide and div, divide B all up to uh, constant volume the little thing at the very top same thing with the this one B constant value and let's hope I didn't mess it up and then yeah now here comes the part where you connect this thing to your radar uh, you take your cause all right and then um, you go up to your little radar here I should probably stop it Whoop. now let's go back down here and click that again uh, grab your cause and put it up to this thing right here um, and click y'all same thing with the with the um, sin that to that and y'all now you grab the um wait a minute yeah I did it right never mind <laughs> now you take your divide divide a and then you take it you put it to distance with the with your ranger same thing with the other one like that like that now let's go back down here now uh, according if I did this all this junk right this should work yeah see it's now outlining the entire map now watch when we put something in its path watch see you see that little thing right here that shows that there's something blocking its path here let's put some more things in the way now you can d definitely tell there's something in the way and um this is actually what we used in my uh what I use in my tornado series. The reason why this works so well, how I got this to um the radar to pick up the tornado, um, is that um the objects start when the objects go up in the air, this thing is spinning like about a little bit more faster. And um it can pick up literally it can as soon as it something goes up in the air it can detect it like immediately so now watch what happens when I set it literally right at it and let's set it right here and whoop. like that and then look at that you Something's definitely blocking it now. It'll go away and see it'll show. Yeah. Now, it'll also detect cars. Maybe. Huh. Funny. I guess it doesn't detect cars. Huh, it doesn't detect cars. Okay. Well, good to find out. Good thing to find that out. I guess that's right. You learn every, something every day. Yeah, see, you you get a bigger signature with players. You can tell where players are. They're using this. So. Oh no. I think I broke it. I broke my radar. No! I think I just messed it up. Now. Let's put this here. So I want to say why. Anyway, yeah, that's that's how you make a um, radar. 
Um, it's kind of hard when you when you get into the mathematical junk, which I am too lazy to get into. And yeah, holy cow, I can't do that. So um, if you haven't checked out my um my tornado um series um please go check that out what it's flying it's legitly flying anyway yeah other than that that's how you make a um a radar in Gary's mod now uh so that's all I needed to show you okay Okay then. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have not subbed yet, please think. What? No. Where's my radar? Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Go um, and all that. Uh. Other than that. Um, if you guys would like to learn more and more stuff, how to do stuff, I do, um, Minecraft, um, how to, like, how to install mo uh, mods, how to do other things, um, and yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video, and I'll talk to you guys later, peace out. I'm so skilled. Uh, my, uh, my current team is right now uh, Dragon Hawk, so 60. And Dovakin, King Dovakin. Right here. Uh, one of our.